on this visit alone, we've secured new deals worth a billion pounds, creating more than 11,000 jobs, and perhaps most significantly of all, we're using our Brexit freedoms to reach a bilateral free trade agreement. And today, Prime Minister Modi and I told our negotiators to get it done by Diwali in October. Considering the number of party investigations uh, going on back home, are you absolutely sure you'll still be Prime Minister then? Uh, OK, uh, the second answer is yes. And uh, talking to, uh, to Narendra, to Prime Minister Modi today, it's, it's clear that uh, he has already intervened several times uh, and I'm sure this is no secret from uh, our, our Indian friends. He's intervened several times with, uh, with Vladimir Putin, really to ask him what, you know, what on earth he thinks uh, he's doing and, and where he thinks this is going. And what the Indians want is, is peace, and they want uh, the Russians out. The, the sad thing is that uh, that is a realistic possibility. Yeah, of course. Uh, Putin has a, a, a huge army. Uh, he has... A, a very difficult political position because he's made a catastrophic blunder. Uh, he has the, the only option he now has really is to continue to try to use his, uh, his appalling grinding approach, driven, led by, uh, by artillery, uh, trying to grind the, the Ukrainians down. And he's very close to securing a land bridge in, uh, in Mariupol now. Uh, the, the, the situation is, is, I'm afraid, unpredictable at this stage. We've just got to be realistic about that. But what we've also seen is the incredible heroism of the Ukrainians and their willingness to fight. And I tell you something, I think that no matter what uh, military uh, superiority I, uh, Vladimir Putin may be able to bring to bear in the next uh, few months, and uh, I agree, it could, be a, it could be a long period, he will not be able to conquer the spirit of the Ukrainian people. The extraordinary fortitude and the success of President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people in resisting Russian forces in Kyiv means that I can announce today that we will very shortly, uh, next week, uh, reopen our embassy in Ukraine's capital city.